Hey everybody, what's up guys? Didn't sing Game Freak here. So uh more Nintendo Switch videos and I'm and as at this point it's been a few days now. We've gotten to see more varied reactions of how people are responding to it. It's pretty fucking split. There's a lot of people who are angry and a lot of people who are happy. So I'm gonna mix in hardware features and things we found out with also the uh with the game. So I did arms and thank you guys for telling me about it, ha it having traditional controls because that means the game will work better. They just need to also push that as a feature of the game because right now they're only really talking about it. You had to find out through the treehouse to figure it out. So let's get into the second thing, which is the storage. Now, a lot of people were pissed off with the Wii U storage capacity because it was only 32 gigs and it felt like a bunch of BS because it's a home console and you're only giving me 32 gigs of storage, meaning... I can only download a certain amount of games. And you come to find out on the Switch, it's about the same thing. It's 32 gigs. Uh, with even, I wouldn't say harder options, but less large options in terms of external storage. Because unlike consoles, you can buy portable hard drives, like a terabyte or so, for like less than $100. Up to two terabytes nowadays. So it's like... Okay, but micro SD cards are just now getting to like the 200s. Uh, I think SD card, micro SD cards you can't even get. The highest I think you can get is like 128 or some shit. Uh, what a reasonable price is like 128, maybe 200. I think some of them aren't even out yet, which is funny because they've even, they've, ironically enough though, Nintendo's been like, oh yeah, but the it, it supports up to two terabyte SD cards, even though you can't buy those right now anyway, so. Uh, but I wanted to talk about it because there, I, I'm, I understand the frustration, but I, I, I also need to point out the hypocrisy. Okay, so is 32 gigs a lot of storage? No, it's never been a lot of storage. That's why most people who, who played their Wii U pretty extensively have an external hard drive or have extra, have other SD cards or something laying around with the other games on it because the console wasn't enough to fill up that storage. Now, I'm a little bit more forgiving with the Switch, particularly because... As far as tablets are concerned, that's a pretty standard storage capacity. But because this console is being marketed as a home console first with the option to be portable, you would still expect the option to be there. But I, un I understand it, but it doesn't necessarily change the fact that you're still probably going to have to get some type of proprietary extra uh, storage device. So I agree it probably should have been bigger. I just realistically couldn't understand how they would do that considering most tablets... I think the, the highest I've seen the tablet go is like 64 gigs maybe or maybe 128. Like there's not much higher you could have gone. And let's be real here. People were going to complain if it was less than 500 gigs. Let's be real here. People were going to complain if it was less than 500 gigs. Although the complaining probably just would have been slightly nerfed. But the complaints would have still been it's 2017 and you're releasing a console that doesn't only has 32 gigs of storage. Let's be real here. That's what would have happened. Um, but it should have been more... I, but realistically, I can't see myself understanding how they could have done that, considering what the console was. Looking at the console, I wasn't expecting 500 gigs of storage, because that would have been insane. I, don't, I just couldn't see how you could do it and still keep the portability, because that means, like, half the, also, it would just be, it would still be considered worse, because unlike the other consoles, you couldn't just change out the hard drive. Well, I think you could only recently do that for PlayStation. Uh, PlayStation before, you couldn't. But the point is, is that, uh... It would have still been viewed as worse regardless. So I think they just said, look, 32 gigs, micro SD cards, it'll be relatively easier. But the console is going to still get shit for it because it's 32 gigs, which is under I understand the complaint, but I also need to point out the hypocrisy before I finish this. Because it's, I'm, because you're, you're dealing with storage bullshit on both, on all three consoles. It just changes depending on the console. Uh, with Nintendo, it's essentially your it, your default is to buy an external storage, whereas for the other two consoles, you will never you will never not have to buy external storage. And the thing about the Switch is that you don't necessarily need it if you buy physical media, which is funny because people were so on on, on Xbox about you know having DRM in their consoles and being locked into. Uh, and not being able to have physical media, like this this whole push for digital media and no lack of physical media, that was the whole thing. But ironically enough, they don't complain about the fact that their consoles right now essentially are DRM locked machines. 
in the sense that when you buy a game, you're really just buying a key because the damn, when you install a game on your PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, you're installing the whole goddamn game anyway. That's the difference. When I, when I buy a card, a $60 card for, you know, Zelda Breath of the Wild or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I don't necessarily need 32 gigs or a terabyte for that because all I'm doing is putting the cart in the console and playing it. That was like one of the main advantages of physical media is to not need digital space. What do I need? Store the only storage space I would probably and actually I probably don't even think need need that. All the all the storage space I need would be on the game. You know, I could just save it on the game and then take the cart with me and I'd be fine. And I wouldn't use any space on my console, supposedly. You probably would have to download, like, update patches and shit, depending on what the game is. But the point is, I wouldn't be deadlocked into a situation where I would always be forced to upgrade. So if you buy physical media on the Switch, you probably won't even have this problem. Unlike with the Xbox One or PlayStation 4, where you will always have this problem. Gamers tried to make excuses. This is, and this is my issue. If you're going to complain about the Switch, which I don't have a problem complaining about the Switch's storage space. I understand it's small as fuck. You also need to look at the other side of the corner and recognize that the Switch, at least with physical media, you don't have the problem. With PlayStation and Xbox, you always have the problem because your games are constantly and are forced and will always be installed onto the fucking console. So even if you have 500 gigs or a terabyte, they're making sure that everybody is going to end up spending money to buy a fucking to buy some type of external storage if you're a gamer because most gamers are playing a lot, a lot of people like that like oh well for the casual consumer they won't run into the problem well yeah they do because all you have to do is play buy madden or fifa if you buy madden and fifa and no and call of duty and battlefield which are like the four games that everybody buys no matter if you're casual it's four games you buy that for maybe like two years straight and your console's full up and that's on a 500 gig model you can extend that into maybe this year and now everybody's consoles are full up because if you have a terabyte model because that's because the game installs are huge as fuck that's the first problem and two you're always forced to install it so either they get you by making you pay for a terabyte console or they get you in terms of just making you upgrade your hard drive multiple times you can complain about the switch that's not my issue but you also need to recognize that you are always going to have to upgrade with the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, the only advantage, the only difference is really when and when. That's actually what it is. When. Because, because of how big, and, and the reason why you even have to install games in general, and I think Dr. Trey explained in this video, is because the Blu-ray discs don't run fast enough to load the high, the high-end textures that they're using on these games. Therefore, they have to just go ahead and install them because if you didn't, you had this nasty. The game wouldn't probably function right off if it was just running off the disc, so it can't. So, in comparison, is that like, oh look, I have to. I always will have to. If I'm a gamer, I'm always gonna have to upgrade my 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 uh, my uh, internal storage, always. And then on top of that, thinking considering they're also giving you free PlayStation Plus games, uh, I forget which console. And she keeps, and I actually understand why now that you get the con that the games that you have on your console will also add into your storage. I actually, I don't, I'm not sure how PlayStation Plus's free games work if they're actually installed on your console. I don't think they are since they can go away if you lose PlayStation Plus. But if you get it back, it still has the same catalog of games you had from before. So I guess you're essentially paying for a pseudo streaming service with video games. I'm not 100% sure. And the reason why I think you probably can't install them is because. It would just run up. It would just make your storage go smaller and smaller. And considering you also have to pay if you want to add apps onto your console, that's more storage you're taking up. So the point I'm trying to make is, it's like you just got to pick your poison. At least with the game cards, you don't have to deal with installs. And in so a lot of cases, I'm betting, and we've already heard confirms of this, uh, confirmations of this with Zelda, you get faster load times, and you just jump into the game. Versus these consoles, they still take an hour to go into a game because you have to install the game, and then, they, oh, they gave you a feature. Oh, I can play while it's installing. Well, the, the, the problem is that I have to install it in the first place. But, uh, oh, look, I can, uh, I can play while I'm installing. That's, that's just a cop-out. It doesn't really fix the problem. 
Um, I'm always forced to install, which means I'll always be forced to upgrade if I'm a gamer and I play my games consistently and I buy new games consist. Like if the PlayStation 4 is your primary console, you're gonna have to upgrade your storage. It's just a fact. If you're a gamer and you play PlayStation 4, you're always going to have to upgrade your console's storage because you're also deadlocked. So I just wanted that to be stated that neither none of these consoles have good storage options. None of them do. But the good advantage is, is that at least with physical media, you're not punished on the Switch, whereas you're always punished on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And granted, that's not saying there's, I'm not going to, not every video is going to be like me trying to make excuses for it, because I'm not making an excuse. I'm just saying gamers need to stop throwing out shade towards the Nintendo console and not recognize that, oh, look, the other consoles deck locked you in, the, in a different way. But it, it was, it was a slower and a less obvious way. So it's okay. That's literally all it is. Because... You want to sit and tell me 500 gigs or terabyte is enough on a console that makes you install games. You always have to install games. So what the fuck is the difference? The difference is that you just get the wait a little while before you get to buy it. Also, but the difference is you also have to keep buying it. Whereas, regardless of what media you're on, whether if, there's actually no reason to buy physical on, on PlayStation and Xbox. You only do it because you like Physical media, even though those discs literally are just keys to allow you to download the games versus the carts, where I can literally just click the bitch in and I'm good. That's all I gotta do. I'm not wasting any storage for that. If I'm right, you're saving on the game cart, so yeah, I'm not wasting any storage on that. But I understand people are gonna be mad, and as I said, 32 gigs is abysmal. It's fucking pathetic. But, at least, if I'm buying physical, I don't have to deal with the bull as much. Versus if I'm buying physical on those consoles, I'm always going to deal with it. Regardless if I'm buying physical or digital. There is no lag on that. And obviously, you can bring up the point that well, with all the updates and shit, you will eventually run out to 32 gigs. Eventually, but let's just say this. The lag time in between running up updates, running up the shit with physical media on that is a lot slower than that even though it's like what 400 and some gigs less than what those are well at least for the base model i mean obviously they're a terabyte option but still <sighs> shit please dude please but that's just my whole thing it's, it's nothing new it's just you're getting fucked you just gotta pick the way you want to get fucked at least this way, if I if you pl if I play physical media, I'm not as punished as hard, which is ironic enough though, because I do plan. I think this might be the first digital console I try, like just buying digital for. Depends. I'm gonna get fucked either way. Let's just, just be fair here. We're gonna get fucked either way. You're just picking how and how you're getting fucked. But yeah, at least I'm not punished for physical media on the Switch, whereas I'm totally punished for it. Because the because they want you to go digital only, guys. That's all I wanted to say. As I said, there are certain things about the Switch there is no real... It's not like I can do this all the time. Because the online, as of right now, that's that's like fuck me levels. The Switch's online setup is bullshit levels. And that's just because... I, that's partially because it's not a well-explained system. And then on top of that, it's some... It's fucking bad, dude. I'll get into it in the minute. I'll get into it in the next video. But for right now, that's just all I wanted to say. Storage wise, the both bullshit is just that at least here I'm not punished for owning physical media, whereas here I'm always punished. They want you to go digital because you might as well be going digital. There's no reason to go physical on that. I don't know. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.